Hello, it's Elder here. And today I wanted to talk to you about this tactical flashlight made by the Atomic Bear. Now I've reviewed uh, a lot of different Atomic Bear gear and have been pretty impressed with uh, everything so far. When I saw this tactical flashlight, to be dead honest with you, I knew that it was something that wouldn't be suffice for my needs, but I had been looking for something for other natural training center members that are just getting started out as well as family members, including my wife, that refuse to carry something that's more expensive, something with uh, proprietary batteries, something that's way too big for her hand, so on and so forth. So when I did see this uh, online from the Atomic Bear, I knew that I had to give it a try and give it a review to see if it was something that was viable for the Natural Training Center members that were looking for this niche uh, and also might be viable for you. So let's get into uh, some of the specifics on this tactical flashlight. So right off the bat, this uh, flashlight is a 400 lumen. I'm used to flashlights that are usually a minimum of 1,000 lumen, giving me much brighter light. But once again, also takes a stronger rechargeable battery, which this one here, just uh, conveniently a AA, which like I said, is perfect for a lot of people that are starting out. And even just uh, investment-wise, when you go out there and you get these higher-end tactical flashlights, you need to get the rechargeable batteries. So not only are you spending money on the batteries that are not cheap, but you also need to get yourself a charger for uh, those specific batteries. So now you need a flashlight, but now you're getting a flashlight. You have to buy a couple batteries. You have to buy a charger for those batteries. So you can tell how in no time you can pretty much break the bank. And with a little niche like this coming in at under $7, and most likely you have a couple AA batteries laying around the house already, uh, you can see why the convenience factor on something like this uh, may appeal to a lot of people out there. So what impressed me also about this little flashlight because of its price point is that it comes with a lot of integrated features that you find on more uh, of the expensive tactical flashlights. Uh, basically, it's made from aircraft grade aluminum. It does have a little uh, pocket clip here that you can utilize if you do want to carry it in your pocket or clip it to whatever you would like to clip it to. Uh, inside, of course, has their little uh, toggle switch here, which actually has three settings, which is going to be tough to see now but I'll get into this a little bit more later. So just easily by activating this little uh, silicone type button. It uh, also has a Q5 Cree LED, which is uh, very similar to what you find in uh, more of the expensive models. It also has this defensive head, definitely making it a tactical flashlight and making it viable for a self-defense application. It also has a uh, beam focus here to adjust it. Once again, difficult to see here, but as I, pull this out it narrows and focuses the beam as I press the head in the uh, beam actually gets larger all right so a lot of pretty cool features in a inexpensive relatively light piece of gear now I've gone into a lot of detail in past reviews on how to utilize a tactical flashlight for self-defense uh, basically we have this reverse grip or almost a hammer grip type uh, action that's uh, pretty much the best viable let's say grip for a tactical flashlight just because of the way that it is built. Uh, so once again, it does have these grooves or let's say on the business end here, uh, on the front part of the flashlight, that when it does make contact with skin or bones or pretty much any part on your body, it does not feel good. So you could just imagine even with very little training, if somebody could go ahead and hold this tool and be able to just deliver natural hammer fist type blows, uh, you're gonna bode a heck of a lot better than if you had nothing uh, at all to be able to protect yourself with. Once again, you can tell by the size of this flashlight, it's a little small for my hand. That's why I prefer more of the uh, longer, fuller size tactical flashlights. But for a lot of the people in my self-defense class uh, that are either budget conscious or have smaller hands, this would be ideal. Also an ideal size for somebody like my wife. So one other thing, uh, this uh, flashlight is water resistant, but it is not waterproof. So keep that in mind, you can get it wet, but definitely do not submerge it. You can tell here that it does have an O-ring where the uh, opening of the uh, battery compartment is. And just in here, I just have a standard AA battery, but you can also use a rechargeable battery if you would like. Uh, the one for 500 model uh, would fit uh, perfectly in this flashlight. All right, so I kind of wanted to come to a uh, dark area of my home since it's daytime here, so basically I'm in the attic. Wanted to show you the three settings or the three beam sizes of uh, the tactical flashlight. So all I'm doing here is pressing on that orange button on the back. Right away it goes to its first setting, which is a thousand lumen. All right, so uh, pretty good uh, brightness there, especially for this little size light. 
if I just go ahead and press the orange button halfway in, it goes to its the next setting, which is a lower setting. And then if I were to press it halfway in one more time, it goes to a strobe setting, uh, more of a self-defense type setting. Now, as, as I showed earlier with the housing, as you extend or retract the housing or the front part of the flashlight, the beam gets more and more centered. So I'll go ahead and get it off the strobe feature. And as you can tell now, it's on the highest setting. As I bring that housing back, the circumference of the beam gets uh, wider. As I bring it forward, it focuses and gets narrow. Good thing here also is that the Atomic Bear does provide a lifetime warranty on their products. So if you are a bit worried or a bit skeptical, there's a bit of insurance to make your decision a bit easier. So bottom line, if you or someone in your group is in need of a tactical flashlight, doesn't want to break the bank, get something that's coming in under $7 without a battery, once again, AA batteries will fit your niche. Uh, 400 lumens uh, at, with that battery the uh, manufacturer claims that it lasts probably about uh, 25 hours of runtime at 400 lumen which is not bad at all anyway take a look at this uh, flashlight it uh, definitely uh, has a lot of pack features for uh, such a uh, small price point once again this is Helder I hope that you found this information helpful